I spy with my little eye, I spy the sun in the sky. I hear the wind in the trees. I hear the buzzing of bees. Where are we, do you know? In the wood where stories grow. Whisper foxtails, open trees. Softly, softly, this way, please. Lift up the latch and open the gate. Knock on the door, you won't have to wait. Grandpa Fox has a tale to tell. Come inside and listen well to fox tales. This is a fox tale story about the cat and the rooster. Written by Susan Kodasek. Photos by Ivan Bartos. Once upon a time in a little house, there lived a cat and a rooster. One day the cat went out and the rooster stayed home all by himself. Bye bye cat. Bye bye rooster. Rooster said, Cock a doodle doo, whatever shall I do? I'll sweep your house all through. That is what I'll do. And so he swept and he tidied and he cock a doodle dooed very loudly. Not far away, Mrs. Fox heard the rooster. She whispered to herself, I'll go and take that rooster. I'll take him away. Slowly, she crept towards the house. Rooster sang, cock a doodle doo there's nothing more to do. I swept the house all through, whatever shall I do? You don't know what to do, said Mrs. Fox in her sweetest voice. Come and sit on my bushy tail. I'll take you for a ride. Now Rooster was told never to believe Mrs. Fox, because Mrs. Fox is always up to tricks. But did the silly Rooster remember? No, he was far too curious. He jumped onto Mrs. Fox's tail. She took him for a ride all right. She ran high, she ran low. She ran fast, but she didn't run slow. Until... She arrived at her house. She took Rooster inside and she shut the door. Now what? When the cat came home, he called to the rooster. Rooster! Rooster! But there was no answer. The cat looked inside the house. He looked outside. He even looked on the roof. But Rooster was nowhere. The cat was very sad. But then, just under the window... He found a piece of fiery red fur. Aha! he said. This is Mrs. Fox's fur. This means that Mrs. Fox stole the rooster. He was very cross. I'll go and rescue rooster and I'll teach Mrs. Fox a lesson. The cat took his fiddle in a big sack and off he went to Mrs. Fox's house. And as he went, he muttered to himself, She stole my rooster. I'll steal her cubs. Then she'll know what it feels like and she'll be sad. When Cat arrived at Mrs. Fox's house, he picked up his fiddle and he began to play. Hey doodle doodle, the cat in the fiddle. Oh what a row, filly meow. Then the door opened and a fox cub came out. Excuse me, said the cub. My mummy says, will you please stop making that noise because she has a headache and a tummy ache and a backache, and a footache, and especially a tailache. But what do you know? The cat grabbed the fox cub and put him straight into his sack. Then he picked up his fiddle and played on. Hey doodle diddle, the cat in the fiddle, oh what a row, filly meow. A second cub came out. Excuse me, my mummy says, will you please stop making that noise? Because he has a headache and a backache, and a footache, and a tailache. Now, do you know what that cat did? He put the cub straight into his sack. And he played on. He doodle diddle, the cat in the fiddle, oh what a row, fiddly meow. A third cub came out. 
Excuse me, she said. My mummy says, will you please stop making that noise? Because she has a... But the cat grabbed her nice and fast and he put her in his sack. Then he came right up to Mrs. Fox's house and played. Fiddle six foxy, give us the back. I've got your fox cubs in my sack. It's Mr. Cat, cried Mrs. Fox. She ran out of the house. She was angry. Give me back my cubs. Not so fast, said Mr. Cat. First you give me back my rooster. What was Mrs. Fox to do? She called, Rooster, Rooster. Rooster ran out and snuggled up to Cat. Thank you, my hero. Mr. Cat was very glad to have rescued his friend the rooster. Now let my cubs out, said Mrs. Fox. Mr. Cat opened the sack. The cubs jumped out one by one and ran straight to their mother. Mrs. Fox was very glad to have them back. Hello, my babies, she said. Cat and Rooster went back home. In their little house, they talked about their adventure. Good night, Cat. Good night, Rooster.